decided to get myself and WWE fans an early Christmas present this year and induct myself into the WWE Hall of Fame. What the Damn, fuck? I never thought I'd see ECW join Vince McMahon's special club on live TV. Say the word, Mr. McMahon, and this chump is no more. Man, I think you put your head way too far up a certain butt. Go ahead and send your boys. I need the warm up. Jeff Hardy always welcomes a fight, Dreamer. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. Back with more WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 24-7 mode. Thank you for joining me as always. Monday Night Raw getting underway. And we are in a fatal four-way. We're just over one month away from New Year's Revolution. And a big old boomer sooner, everybody. Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler joining you at ringside as the search for a number one contender continues. Yeah, and tonight, the champ doesn't have a partner to hide behind. I don't think he's ever hid from anyone in his life. But you're right. This is a fatal four-way match. Any one of these guys could give him a run for his money, but all three of them? Forget it. Let me tell you something, folks. The champion's got all he can say grace over here tonight. Three opponents, and all of them gunning for his championship. And if he's a real champion, he'll find a way to win this match. If he doesn't, he's nothing but a fraud. Well, don't worry, I'll find a way to win this match because I'm a fighting champion, and that's what fighting champions do. I really hope Chris Masters isn't the one that gets a shot at this championship. I'd rather it be Johnny Nitro or Edge. Give me either of them. The feud itself is shaping up to look like it's going in Edge's favor just by some of the cinematics we've seen so far. But anyone but Masters right now. Hashtag anyone but Masters. That's it. Anyone but him. Fatal 4-Way underway in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Edge is going to be a dirty bastard. Oh, you prick. Oh, that's a good thing I rolled out of the way, huh? Didn't expect that. Not to mention the fact that Stephanie McMahon left us a voicemail at the end of the last episode saying that... Uh, She's aware of the fact that I helped out Shane McMahon and she's wanting me to help her out. The last time we saw Stephanie was when we defeated Batista to have her kicked out of Monday Night Raw because of all the hell she was causing me. So I'm yet to determine whether or not Stephanie McMahon is one to be trusted. I'm sure this arena is just full of edgeheads tonight. You might not hear them cheering. But that's probably because they're in awe of the fact But we've got to be very opportunistic here. Superstar. Or maybe it's because the edge heads turned on edge right about the same time he turned on them. It's actually game. kind of ironic. Oh, There's sure. uh, now the fans to cheer two for superstars in the ring with now us right now that could have been voted upon to be the superstar I played as in this game. Edge was one, Johnny Nitro was the other. I honestly feel a playthrough as Johnny Nitro could actually be pretty cool considering how athletic he is and all like the high flying and really finessed kind of technical moves that he can pull off. I don't want to take anything away from the masterpiece's accomplishments, but don't you find that it's just don't make him tap out. Please, you feel a little nauseous. I'm gonna cop a thumb to the eye. Great, okay. He's cocky, but he's earned the right to be. It's all right. You two take care of each other. I'm focusing on Edge over here. That's a short climb, but a potentially long. Oh, you bastard! I hit it on the wrong person. I mean, I hit it. What an incredible performance by these phenomenal superstars! Did you expect anything less, Jr.? I mean, look who's in the ring right now. Here's the cover, Jr. One, two, two. God damn it! You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. 
No question about it, King. Oh, can I sneak the win here? Superstar. Looks like someone's heading for the high rent district. Get the pin. Get the pin. Get the pin. He's a three count away from a pin fight. One. Damn it. Masters had one job. Did and that was to focus his attention. Oh my god, he's gonna throw us all out of the ring. Tonight, JR. I had a feeling their paths were gonna cross sooner or later. And I'm glad I'm here to see it. Me too. He's going up, JR. This could be big. This has gone beyond just being a match. JR. And there's the schoolboy pin? No, not good enough. The most devastating move in sports entertainment, the roll-up pin. I'll tell you what, it would hurt my These fans can't stand it when he does this, JR, but I think it's great. He's sure not going to win over any fans with that move, but I don't think that bothers me. Oh, my. Looks like oh, he's been busted run. wide open. I'm going to try and steal the pin. One, two. two, you jerk. these superstars have even contemplated the fact that they might lose i'm sure they have that's not the kind of attitude you come in with and expect to pick up the masters go chase nitro around for a little bit let me just you can't see yourself having your arm raised by the referee when it's up and now a pin this one, could be one two, two. <sighs> i'm getting so close to the oh, win i can taste it swanton okay you two just focus on each other for a second one, two, three. Thank you, Nitro, for uh, taking the time to drop that move there and, and get me the win. Thank you. There goes a very unhappy superstar. What do you expect? He knows this match didn't prove anything. What on earth are you talking about, King? Think about it. There were four superstars in the match. What does that prove? This was just an evaluation a potential contenders king if he expected more from it he obviously wasn't paying attention just an evaluation just more hoops to jump through you mean and it's a good thing that we pinned edge too considering edge is the one that i want to have a feud with so kind of builds momentum a little bit if i've already pinned him and then he can do the whole oh it was a fatal four-way you didn't beat me one on one because that's how they'd go in real life Flair defeated Orton. Umaga finally picked up a win. Shad defeated Carly. And Kenny defeated John Cena. Poor bastard. We're going to try and take it day by day so we don't miss anything on the phone. What do we got? Jeff versus Edge, singles action, main event. We're less than one month away from New Year's Revolution. This is good old JR alongside the Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And we've got a number one contender match for you tonight. That's right. Tonight, the future champion goes one-on-one -on -one with the current champ. You might be putting the cart before the horse, your royal highness. The champ's no pushover. Yeah, well, neither is his opponent. This is going to be a heck of a fight. It is. It's going to be a little taste of what's to come. A little bit of a... A little bit of a taste. You think you know me. He's a former champion, and he hopes to reclaim the title at New Year's Revolution. Yeah, and lucky for the champ, this is a non-title match. Definitely feel if I ever did a career mode as Edge, it'd be once he'd already adapted the spear as his finishing move instead of the execution. I just preferred the spear as a finishing move for Edge. The rated R superstar. This is what I'm talking about. A fresh feud. Something that we don't have to get involved with somebody else that's already had a chance. I swear to fuck, if we beat him at the next pay-per-view and Chris Masters is back in the mix, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. And here comes the champion. 
Remember, this is a non-title match. The championship is not on the line. Yeah, not tonight. But if he loses tonight, the rematch is a New Year's revolution, and it'll be for the championship. That's okay, because I'm quietly confident that we can get the win. The feud's building nicely. We defeated him in the Fatal 4-Way. This week he gets the chance one-on-one -on -one to prove his worth. Can he take it to the champion? Get ready to ring that bell, ref, because that is a question that we're about to have answered. His opponent telegraphed that one. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. Already taking no a turnbuckle cover off of the turnbuckle, you dirty bastard. Don't worry, we'll make him pay. Make more than any Corner drop kick. Thank you. It really is like being up the turnbuckle. This could be really good or really bad. Start showcasing some moves that we don't really use WWE's all the time just to uh, get the crowd and rolled up. Hardy's got fans in every single one. Well, he's a one of a kind phenomenon. Although they're familiar with this one. Back in the day when there was only one finisher per uh, per superstar, you didn't have the good old double. Got no for he's done for them. Oh, you're full of it, or even signature and then finishes. Well, before that time as well. How can you say that, Jr? Edge is one of the most exciting and dynamic superstars on the Raw roster, and I hope you don't drive him to smack. All's fair in love and war, Jr. And, I and there's the cover. Oh, you dirt nap. See, ref sees it. Rope break. Oh man, That's you dirty prick. This match, Jr. Yeah, and not for the better either. I wish the ref would actually pay attention to what's going on. I actually on. love that the AI for Edge is so committed what? to winning by the dirty means because it just heightens the the feud overall that's what that's what 2k need to do moving forward to make their their wrestling games a bit more believable when it comes to feuds within a career mode give the ai a system that adapts to the way they should be presenting themselves I'd also love to see in the next 2K game the return of career modes where you can play as an already ready-made superstar instead of having to create your own like we have for the last, I don't know, four, five, six years. Tell me what you guys prefer when it comes to wrestling games. Do you prefer being able to play a career mode as a superstar like Jeff Hardy or Edge? Or you, do you prefer creating your own superstar and having your own superstar in the mix? Curious to know. It's great to hear the fans come alive every time Jeff Hardy God damn it. Yeah, but I could do without all come on, Jeff, get up. Female fans. Well, it sounds like someone's a little jealous. I'm sure you wouldn't mind nearly as much if they were shrieking at you. This capacity crowd is solidly behind their super. Let's set him up for that swan ton, baby. Wow, could you be any more biased, JR? How about some fair and balanced comment? Oh boy, this looks like an all or nothing move. Leg drop. And we're going straight back up. And we're coming beard. straight back down with that swan ton bomb. Is it enough for the window? It should be. He's a three count away from a pinfall. One. Two, three. That's two from two, Edge. I've pinned you twice this episode now, son. He's leaving the ringside area in a foul mood. Yeah, I don't blame him. Have you ever seen him in anything but a foul mood? Well, occasionally he's a little smug, but he's got good reason to be upset. He just lost his championship opportunity. And I'm sure the champ is glad he's not the number one contender. I don't know about that. After that performance, I think the champ would be happy to have a oh. rematch. It could have gone either way, and I don't think the champ would have gotten that lucky twice. Whoops. So defeating Edge in that match took away his number one contendership position, which now opens the door for... Oh, no, don't say it. Don't let Chris Mutt... Please. 
Please, Jonathan Coachman, if you are a decent GM, you would send me a message and say, hey, pick your opponent for the next pay-per-view and I want to pick Edge. Fuck, I'd pick Nitro. I'd pick Ric Flair for fuck's sake. I've got a special announcement for WWE fans worldwide. Now, you know I'm not one to toot my own horn, but thanks to the effusive praise of ECW's representatives, I've decided to get myself and WWE fans an early Christmas present this year and induct myself into the WWE Hall of Fame. What the Damn, fuck? I never thought I'd see ECW join Vince McMahon's special club on live TV. Say the word, Mr. McMahon, and this chump is no more. Man, I think you put your head way too far up a certain butt. Go ahead and send your boys. I need the warm-up. Jeff Hardy always welcomes a fight, dreamer. And we're taking on CM Punk in a hardcore singles match. Just like that. I'll take it. That is one hell of a warm-up. It's time to get extreme, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Hardy and CM Punk in hardcore action coming up next. Less than three weeks remain until New Year's Revolution. Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler at ringside. And did you see how the champion disrespected Mr. McMahon and ECW? I've got no problem with him talking trash to ECW, but insulting the chairman, that's career suicide. And ECW has vowed retribution on the champion here tonight. If I were the champ, I'd be more worried about what Mr. McMahon's got in store for me. Why's John Cena standing off to the side like that? And here comes young CM Punk, a superstar who's been making quite a name for himself in ECW. Yeah, and that name is Punk, which is exactly what he is. I hope the champ wipes the canvas with this kid. We're definitely going to be doing a CM Punk career mode at some point in time, ladies and gentlemen. Because I love what he offers as a superstar, not just personality-wise, but in the ring. He's got the GTS, so we can knock out an opponent for the pin. But then he's got the Anaconda device as well, so we can go for the submission win. So, in many ways, he's a complete package for a career mode. Unfortunately, it can't be in 2008, but hey, maybe 2009, 2010? Something to look forward to. Off in the horizon, but still something to look forward to. With only a couple of weeks between now and New Year's Revolution, you'd think that the champion would be much more focused on his championship match, not ECW. I don't want to come off sounding like some sort of wacko conspiracy theorist, but I smell a setup, JR. You smell a setup, huh? Wouldn't be the first time ECW set me up to fail or jumped me after a match or done something to me. But every single time something has happened to Jeff Hardy, he has shown his resilience by bouncing back and coming back ten times stronger. There's a reason he's currently the face of Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get extreme. You ready to go, punk? I'm just going to use whatever they want to give me here. I'm not even a fan of the Sledgehammer all that much when it comes to these games. But I'll use it. I'll channel my inner Triple H. There is one weapon I want, though. Can I please have this? Thank you. Come on! Somebody's got to take that away from him! Hey, if the referee does no the one's going to take this away from me. His opponent telegraphed that one. Little known fact, ladies and gentlemen. The only item... Oh! Table finisher. We haven't seen this before in the it's series. The fans Going all out. Time Jeff Hardy sets foot in the ring. Yeah, but I can do without all of his shrieking female fans. 
Well, it sounds like someone's a little jealous. I'm sure you wouldn't mind nearly as much if they were shrieking at you. Let's just take this so I can ring his bell. He sure is putting that thing to good use, JR. I don't know if I call it good The only game, weapon that doesn't disappear after a few uses, which is incredibly handy. He must be looking for a weapon of some kind. Give me a chair. Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being Thank shy you. about saying what's on their minds. You sure? Oh, man. Did you hear that chair shot, JR? I'd be surprised if there was a single person in this arena who didn't, King. Let's go to Tim. CM Punk might be young, inexperienced, and wet behind the ear. Did you see that? That's going to leave a mark. I think that's the whole idea, King. Well, I did say to Dreamer I needed a warm up, and so far that th that's all this is. Aggression. Look at the way these superstars have been going after each other. They're not Give me a weapon, and everyone else that I take on is just out of their depth. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match, but this might turn out to be. No, oh, go ahead and say it, Jr. All right, I will. I think this one's got. The unfortunate all the thing is, when I do certain moves, they don't end up in a position I need them to be in. But here we go. This could be game over for Punk already if I can hit the Swanton. Get up top, get up top. Damn it! I hope he knows what he's doing. Oh, that's infuriating. I've got a feeling that this has all but it's okay. the of an instant classic. That's probably just gas, JR. <laughs> well, I did have some good old oh. Oklahoma barbecue before tonight's show, but I don't think that's it. How about we try it now? Perfectly up. set up. Oh, you're kidding. Punk rolling out of the way and saving himself from the Swanton Bomb. Why can't I hit you with the sledgehammer? This match is going to continue until someone's completely... Another chair. Oh my, Are you? He's bleeding. That's an unfortunate side effect of this... Here's the cover, is that it? One, two, two three. three. Get wrecked. A little bit too extreme for CM Punk to handle, it seems. I don't think he feels like he got the respect he thinks he deserves. What? Was he expecting that the Raw fans were going to show him any respect? That's pretty unlikely, considering he's an ECW superstar. This is my house. Not to mention a snot-nosed little punk. And I don't have a peaceful, easy feeling that this is the last we've seen of ECW. Probably not, especially if Mr. McMahon gets his way. And he usually does. My house, CM Punk. You come in here and you've got to answer to the champ. It feels good being on top of the mountain, ladies and gentlemen. It really does. But with that being said, let's see how the rest of the Raw card shaped up. Carlito beat HBK in the main event. Shad defeated Nitro. JTG defeated Kenny. And Carly defeated Ric Flair. Well, we got someone blowing up my cell phone. Well, I certainly hope this is what you wanted. It seems that Tommy Dreamer and Mr. McMahon have decided to give you the option of going to December to Dismember and doing the ECW thing or skipping it altogether and performing on Raw instead. What's it going to be? You'll find out in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. You know what you got to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Playlist in the description. Hit that bell before you leave. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.